Hey everyone, Jennifer Nicole Lee. I'm doing a live makeup tutorial, no fancy editing, raw, real, uncut, uncensored. I have a fresh face, let's do this. My goal is to have this done within 30 minutes. So we're gonna start with a clean face. As you guys know, I love to use Laura Mercier for my, um, for my primer. So we're just gonna put a little bit of this. I like to use the oil-free. You wanna put the size of about a little, I don't know, quarter, rub it together, warm it up all over the face. Mm. And I will be giving you all the products in the description so you'll know what to get. Okay, Laura Mercier done. I like to have a little fan on set so I can dry it or it's just gonna stay very, very, very wet. Let that dry, take that off. Um, now we're going to go into our concealer. I'm going to be using Maybelline. This is actually brand new. So give me a little minute. <laughs> Get it all mixed up in there. I love that noise. Whoop. <laughs> go from the inner to the outward gently. Right here. Okay, I like to put some underneath right there, underneath my nose, on my upper lip, little laugh lines, down the middle, okay? So once that's done, you're gonna go in with your foundation. I love, this is Katie B Cosmetics. And this is her mineral foundation, butter, better than airbrush. Okay, so I just put it straight to my face. A little swirl here, a little swirl there. Cover the canvas up here. Add enough so you know when you smooth it out. You know that you're going to Take a picture here. You know you're gonna have enough coverage. I like to use my silicone. You start just blending from the inside out, making sure everything is covered. Go over the lips, down your neckline. Not too much. You don't wanna get makeup on your clothes. The key here is to make sure you have everything covered evenly and smoothly. I love these little gel silicon. God, that camera is so good. Look at this lighting setup. I'm loving my new setup. <sighs> Go back with this. <sighs> okay. Once that's done, I like to take the fan, dry, and dry, and dry some more. Like my new backdrop? Whee! <laughs> okay, that's dried. Now we wanna take some contour. I love the Wet n Wild here. A deep cut in the cheekbone crease forehead. All you do. Now we're going to take our two blending brushes. I have an angle brush. Thanks for the oh, and you have any comments feel free. I won't be able to probably answer them now because I want to get this done in 30 minutes because look I can be here all day. Sometimes I use my 30 second timer. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to give myself 30 seconds for each step. Ooh, there we go. Okay, that's all blended. Now we wanna go in with the Wet n Wild. And this is Kiss Me If You Can on the cherry, on the apple of the cheek there. That goes there. And this is just such a new and fun thing that we can do together. Makeup, you wanna take this little fluffy brush here. Oh, 30 seconds. 
keep it moving. Keep it moving. <laughs> what a great workout today. I'm feeling so pumped and positive. Now it's time to get beautiful, beautified. And I thought, if I'm going to do makeup, why not just film it for everyone? Now you want to take your buffer and blend and blend and blend. As you can see, I'm letting this kind of bake underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to go in with my fingers and just tap. Up oh, 30 seconds, 30 seconds again. This really helps me stay on track because I have not been really clear about it, but I suffer from ADHD. I don't know if that's even the term, but I get bored easily. <laughs> so like, and also I can just keep going and keep it going, going. So the 30 second timer helps me stay focused and um, keeping it moving forward. Now we're gonna go with the NYX NYX. This is the eyeshadow base and I'm doing it. Look at the definition. Okay, let me see. This is color, um, just skin tone, skin tone. And look, if you can't find your brush, which happens to me sometimes, you can use your fingers. Sometimes your fingers are the best tools. They're always with you. Just you want it to be um, moist enough to grab the eyeshadow once you put it on. So just a little bit of that, okay? Yay, we're getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyebrows now. But before we're gonna go and just blend a little bit, 10, 30 seconds here. As you can see, I didn't cake on and cake on and cake on and cake on and cake on the foundation. You want your skin to breathe, okay? Beautiful. Okay, so that's done. Okay. Now we're gonna go into some new products that I got. First of all, this is HD Tinted Powder by KDB Cosmetics. Love you, girl. And this is in light. And I got another one in, in medium. So this is medium. I'm going to put this on my face. These are new products I'm going to try today. So I'm going to give a fair product review. Okay. We're going to open this up. Oh, geez. Came right off. <laughs> okay. Just opening this up. Okay. 30 seconds. Let's go. We don't have time. So now I'm going to put the lid back on, give it a good spank. Now open this up, tap it back. And so you have some loose powder there, you can see. Zoom it in. There you go. I'm going to take a little brush. I love this bullet shaped brush right here for the under eye area. Okay, so you just dip it in there and bake. Shut the eye so it doesn't get inside the eye. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the one key to makeup success is to have everything ready to go in one spot. So you're not up and moving. Have you seen, I've not got up once from my chair. Same thing with my workouts. And I have a new moniker, a new name that I've added. And I really spent some time reflecting yesterday about what makes me different with my workouts. Well, there's makeup artists. Well, why can't I be a fitness artist? And I really feel like I am a fitness artist because my little powder puff. I like this for the face. Give it a good spank. Okay. You got some of this on there now. You just want to gently pat. Gently pat. Mm. Perfect. Now that canvas is done. We're going to put on some cheeks. My hair is coming all done. Look, look at this hair. Is, look how thick this hair has gotten. Ugh. I mean, really, look at all this hair. <laughs> That's why I have to put it up above my head. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go like this. 
Mm -hmm. And maybe clip it this way too. How about that? Okay, so now we're going to go into some cheeks. I love this Sephora angled brush. This is the 49, super soft. And you see how it's angled? It goes right on your cheek like that. I'm loving my Hourglass. And this is um, Radiant Magenta. Put that in there. Put that in there. You can see that the powder is still white here. I'm going to blend that. I'm letting it bake. Baking is a term for letting just the foundation sit and let it really kind of get powdery and soften up as time goes. Set in, settle in. Bake it like bacon brownies. Don't bake, don't rush the process. Now, since we have our color in, I am telling you what, I love this wet and wild. This is my favorite limited edition glam glow. This is in um mega glow. It's called mega glow. So, right here, here's another little trick. I hit the pan on this one. There's pan right there. So when you see pan on my makeup, you know it's one of my favorites. I want you to take a toothbrush and I want you just to then get rid of the excess. And then you want to go back in with a different brush, um, something a little bit smaller to hit the cheekbone. This one is really good. See how soft that one is? Just give it a little tap and go in right here. Woo! Oh, look at that. Is that beautiful? Hmm. All right, we're 11 minutes into this tutorial. Tutorial. I'm going to put that away. Now I'm going to go in with some bronzer. Bronzer. Some bronzer here. Right here, beachfront, my favorite. Beachfront. This is beachfront hermosa. Hermosa, okay? Again, you want to take that toothbrush. Get yourself an old toothbrush. Sometimes it's hard to get the pigment off. So you want to just get a toothbrush and just kind of get that. You see how I just broke up that a little bit? You have extra right there. That helps a lot in picking up the pigment. And I'm going to use this brush. Okay. doesn't have a name. It's nameless. But if you see one, tap it off and go right here. Inside, back and forth. Go back in. Oh, it feels so good. Something about makeup is like therapeutic. Isn't it? Like therapeutic. Okay, now we're going to brush these eyebrows. I like a thick brow. Look, mine are unruly. Mine are not perfect. Mine are not tattooed. Mine are getting a little bit hairy over here. I really have gotten kind of fed up with people having perfect eyebrows. I think it's kind of ugly. I hate to say it. I like a little bit of a wild eyebrow. It, it's it's almost youthful. Have you seen little girls? They just got big bush, bushy eyebrows. And they're not so like manicured or like pens, you know, like thin and just all abused. Sometimes I think people who have like nervous or anxiety or stress, they take it out on their eyebrows. And before you know it, they got nothing. They plucked, they've tweezed. You know, have you ever gone to your hairdresser and you've gone in for a little trim and they chopped everything off? It's like because they're stressed or something. You're like, don't take it out off on all my hair. Ooh, see that? I oh, love it. So if you've got a little eyebrow here or there that shouldn't be there, don't worry about it. You're perfect in your imperfections. Okay, and right now I'm letting you know what I'm using. Brow Blender in Soft Taupe. Again, KDB Cosmetics. I am not sponsored by KDB Cosmetics, but girl, call me. All right, Fenty Beauty. We're going to go in with a little bit of that right here, right here, just right here. Just a touch. Come back in with an angled brush, higher cheekbone, and that's done. Now, let's focus, 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 focus. I want to go in with some tape. Now, I like tape. I like to use tape when I'm doing my eyes. Just get some tape, and you want to put it right here. And imagine if you were going to draw a wing. You want that tape to where that wing will be. It's not high up angled. 
and it's not super low. Leave a little space underneath. Ah, oh, Daniel, thank you for coming in. <laughs> um, and use a little space underneath so you can get that eyebrow bow. I that I um the underneath the eye area. Can't talk. I'm so excited about all this makeup. All right. So now get your brushes. We're gonna go into blue. You guys know I love blue. We're gonna be using the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. So open it up. We're gonna be going in with this this blue right here. Okay. It's the lightest blue that we have. We're going to do 30 seconds again. I like blue on the lid. I like to hit it first because then you got that base color going. Then you can build around it. Okay. Now we're going to go in with our transition color. You want to take a MAC 217. You see how it has a little bit of that brown already on there? You wanna hit this color right here, okay? And you wanna go working in side as your transition, okay? Keep on going, let that color build. Now the corner should be dark, so I'm hitting that darker area first. Now we're gonna go in with a different brush so we can hit more of a lighter. We're gonna go into this peach. You see that peach right there? I'm gonna hit that. We're gonna use that as the transition. That's gonna be in the middle of the eyebrow, the transition color. Okay. Now, I'm loving this look so far. It's like a coral, bronzy, Metallic. This palette is absolutely beautiful by Tarte. Okay. That's done. Now we're going to go in the brow bone in the middle. We're going to hit that middle big shade there, which is so beautiful. Look at that. And get this bullet. Look at this beautiful bullet brush I have. Okay. Hit this. And just hit that beautiful eyebrow. Mm-hmm. Get in the middle of the eye. Ooh, loving it. Love, love, loving it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of darker, going back in. And then we're gonna do the bottom eye lid. We did the top, hit the blue a little bit more just to get everything all even and blended and blended and blended and blended. You can never blend enough. Okay, you want to get a, a brush that has like a little bit of a small little tip so you can go back in and hit the bottom lid going from the inside out all the way in the under lid here. I'm getting up the colors from my backdrop. Have you noticed? It's beautiful. Look at this transformation. So gorgeous. The power of makeup. And guys, I'm doing, I'm using, I'm working with a lot of brands now. And I'm doing tons of giveaways. So we're done with this palette. We'll put it here. Maybe I might have to go back in. But I'm just going to. Do a nice little blend here, up into the eyebrow and down into the eye. Okay, beautiful. That goes there. Put our brushes back in the bin. Clean up as you go. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Okay. Now we're going to go into our black, black eyeliner. And I'm in love again with... I mean, you can use any black eyeliner, but I really like I really like KDB Cosmetics. Okay. Hmm. Here it is. I 
I'm so organized and I'm loving it. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go inside. Be very carefully when you do that. Just give it a little tickle inside, right there. Okay. And look, if you're just starting out with makeup, just practice and practice and practice. That's the beauty of it. Okay, now we're gonna go in with this Maybelline Master Precise, okay? So we got this and it really works as a great pen. Look how it just goes like that. And you wanna go from the outside in. I like to do each wing at the same time. Just you stay focused. Now, the thing is, is that I love the tape. The tape is like my best friend because You can draw right over. Actually, you can see that you can just draw right over and in. A lot of people spend major, major, major bucks on liquid eyeliner. This Maybelline, this drugstore one for me is just like a perfect, perfect price point, perfect pen. And it just works every time. Bye bye. Look at that. Okay. Just got to use this mirror to get in a little bit closer. And any looks you want me to do, let me know. I'll be doing a lot of holiday glam looks, and um, I'll be doing a lot of product reviews. And I can't wait for that. All right, guys, we're 22 minutes into this tutorial. Tutorial, am I pronouncing that right? Tutorial. And um, I'm really loving this look. I think it's one of my best ones yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, this goes away. We're gonna put on some la la la. Actually, we can take this off. I love doing this. Can we say perfect wing? Oh, you can do it. If I can do a wing, what? If I can do a wing, you can do anything. Okay, you see how this is now kind of taken off the makeup? You just go in, it's no biggie. Go in with what you went in before, the Maybelline. Give it a dot, 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 dot. And you wanna take a nice little fluffy brush, okay? And just back and forth, smooth it in. Round and around, no biggie. In 30 seconds, you'll be done. That 30 second timer though. It really helps you do like fast makeup because I don't have time to be in this chair. Like I, right now I'm looking at my list to do today. I'm not floating around. I'm not just sipping Mount Juleps and eating bonbons. I got things to do. So that's done and you wanna just pat it in. Let's talk about eyelashes. Here we go with the Wet and Wild again. Wet and Wild, if you're watching, give me a call. <laughs> I love Wet and Wild too because um, it's animal cruelty free and good for the budget. Gonna hit the lower lash. I like to use a skinny. This is the skinny, the skinny, what is this called? Skinny mascara. I like to use it for the bottom. Go back and forth with the top of the lid, top of the tip, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Get a nice thick coat. The bottom lashes really opens your eye. 
if you have small eyes, like my eye shape, my eye shape is oval with a little bit of a hood. And I'm okay with that with that. So what do I do? I open it with these lashes. Okay. See that already? Wow. Let's do a little bit more. It's almost like a barb, like a, a doll, like a doll look. Remember dolls? They always have that bottom triangles for lashes. Okay, that's done. Let's hit the top. The top, I've been using this one lately, Revlon. Revlon, super length. Okay. <laughs> I love my friends. Thank you, Daniel. I love this auto zoom on this. Now for this, I'm not gonna be going up, up, up. I just wanna coat the lashes so when I put on my, my falsies, you don't see that these are all like, got makeup on them, they're black, they match. So put, mine are so long from all the hair therapy I've been doing, I put castor oil on my lashes. Okay, that's done. Here comes the lashes point now. You want to use um, Duo Black. And I love this one because it is just so easy to use. And it's a new cool formula. Get your baby scissors out because you got to cut your eyelashes. Where's my eyelashes? They got to be here somewhere because I got everything prepared. Okay, so as we're looking for that. found them. <laughs> Let me tell you about some of my favorite eyelashes. Darkness. And this is the K.MA8. Okay. So these are like one of my favorites. Look how pretty they are. And we definitely need to cut these, which we will. And I've measured my eyes so many times that I already know the exact amount that I need to cut. So I'm just going to cut off that little end. This is going to be for my right eye. And then I'm going to take these and cut this little part off. Now, I get a lot of emails. How do you put on fake eyelashes? Well, you're getting a first hand look at this. I always have to use applicator. So you want to just grab your lash, put it in there. Okay, so this is ready to go now. You have it all in there. Now you want to put on the glue. Okay, find your glue. Give it a good little. Okay, now you want to just paint. Paint on a nice thin layer of this glue. I like to go into the corner of my eye. I need to use this. I'll go hit this one while we're here. That'll just help it stay so it doesn't curl up. And now I need to get my fan to let it dry a little bit. Okay, and let's put this lash on, honey. Here comes your eye aerobics. Put this down and then lift your lid up to match it, to meet it, and then let go. And voila. A little fine tuning here. What a difference, right? Okay, second set. And I love these. Again, this is the um, Darkness K.MA8. And I got this at Amazon. So you can get yours at Amazon too. Amazon, you can't beat Amazon. I love Sephora. I love Mac. But I love Amazon too. Okay. Uh oh, this little guy's escaping. We're almost done with this tutorial. I'm gonna put on some lips after this. We'll be good to go. I'm gonna do a little power shopping after this, getting ready for some big projects. So I gotta get all the wardrobe ready. This goes back in here. And then we're gonna take this. <laughs> almost done. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
This goes right here. Doing makeup is again therapeutic. It's a beauty ritual. A beauty ritual. It's actually part of my wellness program. Because when you put on makeup, you just automatically feel beautiful. You feel together. You feel polished. You feel presentable. And there you go. Wow, I love it. Okay, now, lipstick. I have a natural eyes. So I want to have a pop of a colorful lip, okay? So, I feel like I'm going to do a bright orange. I don't know why. I just love orange. Orange, everyone does red. Everyone does pink. Sometimes you got to skip all that and go orange. Aren't you glad I came? So I'm using the NYX. This is called da -da -da, orange. Imagine that. 824. Love it. Let's go in. I love it. NYX. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm trying to talk as I do this. The next fill on my lip. I think this is waterproof. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I love it. I thought it stays. That stay? Uh huh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Beautiful. I like it already. I like it a lot. Now we're going to go in with um, Lime Crime. As you guys know, I love Lime Crime. Look, just bought a whole box of it. Whole box of it. Oh my God, I'm 31 minutes. I promised it would be a 30 minute tutorial. So let me just hurry up and we'll do the final reveal. I'll open up my hair and we'll do a goodbye. Oh, but not for long. Many more tutorials coming. This is suede berry. Give it a good pump. Get that color. <laughs> uh -huh. That's way in the bottom. The orange makes the blue pop, and it's just like the perfect, happy, I feel like strawberry shortcake. Remember strawberry? This is going to be called strawberry shortcake. Remember strawberry shortcake growing up? That was the doll to have. Ah. Now, one thing I have teeth, I always have teeth stick. Okay, here we go. Almost there. Lime crime, suede berry. Now, just to be a little extra, I'm going to go in with a um, lime crime, a little bit of a, um, like a, what is this called? Can you see? I lo look at this camera. Jeez, it's called Blonde. Blondie. I'm going to go in for a little bit of a little shimmer. Uh-oh, trouble. We started trouble with this one. This is it. This is what this lip needed. Metallic. Metallic orange. Woo. All right. Now the hair comes down. We're going to do final looks. <clears throat> Should I do a middle part? Woo. What? Look at this hair. Oh, or a side sweep. Let's do a side sweep. And there you have it. We're set. We're set. We're ready to kick butt today, guys. ta -da! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. This is the strawberry shortcake metallic look. <laughs> I'm going to have all the products below, which I'll add, so you know where to get them, what products I used. And thank you for your positive comments. This is my first live start to finish, uncut, no editing, no quick cuts or you know, little secret things, having makeup artists come in and do my makeup. This is me and you sharing some time together. And look how beautiful you are. Take a look at yourself. <laughs> I love you guys. Stay beautiful. And again, I'll be doing many more live 
makeup war tutorials make makeup not war and listen guys it's fun to be beautiful so celebrate it so with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye and make sure you visit jennifernicoli.com and enter the win for the next jnl makeup wars giveaway